Start by writing down the equation. 2b, they provide you with a quadratic. This is as simple as it gets, really. All they want you to do is classify it. They just want you to tell me, what is this quadratic? What kinds of um, properties does it match? Okay. So the particular one in 2b is y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we want to become very comfortable with working out this discriminant, right? Discriminant equals, okay? There's my b squared, right? Or my b, rather. So b squared is 16 minus 4ac, right? ac, <laughs> sorry. 1, 4. Okay, you happy with that? So I'm getting 0 out of that, right? Now, Without having factorized, this tells us what? It has, it's number one, it's got a double root, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? Because this guy up here is actually a perfect square. You can factorize it now, can't you? Now that I'm asking you to, what's the factorization of this guy? X minus two squared. X minus two, all squared. Okay, so it has that double root at x equals two. So now, when you look at the question, it says, evaluate the discriminant, right, which we have done and determine whether the following functions are positive, definite, <laughs> negative, definite, or indefinite. Okay? Now, immediately having worked this out, I know I'm not definite because I need to have a negative value. Right? So all I need to say is indefinite. Okay? If I had gotten a negative value, right, suppose at this point I got negative 1 or negative 4, as I got in these cases, right? what would I then go on to do? I know it's definite. How do I know it's positive or negative? Where am I going to look? Yeah, I'm going to look up here, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, there's a 1 there, right? So it's going to be concave up. So it would be, if it were definite, it would be positive definite. In this case, it's pretty simple, all right? <coughs> now, like I said, that's as simple as it gets. They just give you a quadratic, and they ask you to classify. Let's have a look at question 6. Looks a little more involved, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it is. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, now what we want is oh, no, just I'll just look at Okay, now here you can see, I mean we're gonna take advantage of exactly the same concept, right? But it's a little more involved. This quadratic here, right, we're not sure what it is because k uh, it can vary. Right? And in fact, they want us to work out different values of k that will give us different properties for this quadratic. Okay? So the very first step with questions like this, when you're trying to work out positive, negative, definite, you always need to start with the discriminant. And in fact, they even guide you in that direction. Okay? When you get a disastrous mess like this, okay, number one, this is not that bad because it's already been factorized for you. It's in general form. Do you see that? So to make it really obvious, let's highlight what the different coefficients are, okay? You do this just to make it less mental effort for you to work out b squared minus 4ac. You don't want to have to be keeping that all in your head. You want what you've written down to tell you that, right? So now that I have this, and like I said, sometimes they'll give it to you in a not factorized form, and then you have to put it into this form. Now that I have it there, I'm just going to compute b squared minus 4ac. Don't forget to catch this whole thing. It's very easy to miss out on that 2, for instance. So b squared in this case will be, there's b squared. I've squared the 2 as well, which is why it became a 4. Minus 4, there's a, and there's c. You happy with that? Now you look at what they're actually um, asking for. They have actually given us a result for this discriminant in a simplified form. So it's our responsibility to factorize this, expand this out a bit, and then simplify it. Okay. So I've got my factor of 4 out the front, and they have the factor of 4 already pulled out, so I might as well stick that out the front. Okay. 4 minus k all squared, who can expand for me? Mm -hmm. We can all expand this, right? <laughs> 16, 16 minus 8k plus k squared. Good, that's all done. This I'm just going to multiply both by 4. Watch out for that negative sign. So what am I going to get here? Minus 12k. Right? Minus uh, I've oh, taken out a factor of 4. Minus Watch out, right? Plus 20. 20. Yeah? Are you happy with that? Does it look okay? 
Oh, no, but he's put that no, on the brackets. No, he put it in brackets. No, but... Oh. <laughs> Are we happy with it? So do you see what I did? Catch it. When I wrote down this 4 out the front, that's why I no longer have to account for this 4 or this 4. Right? So what I was doing here was multiplying out these guys. Is that alright? And then I watch for the sign. You with me so far? Okay. By the way, just a quick note, right? What are we focusing on right now? We're focusing on all this stuff, right? The algebra is just a given. This is why we start off the year and why in 5.3 last year, it's like, okay, algebra, algebra. You don't want to worry about mucking up signs or constants or all that kind of thing. Let's simplify, shall we? Four still out the front. We'll put our squared term out in here. What are my matching terms here? Minus 20k. Minus 20K? Plus 36, does that match? Yes. So I'm going to say as required. Okay, fantastic. Right? Let's have a look at the different parts and what they want us to show. Right? For starters, it says find the values of k, find the values of k, there they are, such that you've got this guy being positive definite. Okay? So let's think about this, right? For positive definite, I need to meet two conditions, right? Here we go. I need to have this guy, A's got to be positive, and I've got to have this guy, okay? So I have two inequalities that I must satisfy, right? Let's start with the easy one first, A, right? Because A was given to us right there, and it's quite simple. So I've got 3K minus 5 has to be greater than 0. That's got to be positive to make it concave up. And then I've got this guy, the discriminant, 4 k squared minus 20k plus 36. That has to be negative so I don't get any roots. Okay. Okay. So just to help you see what's going on, this is the leading coefficient. And this is the discriminant. And this is what I must satisfy such that 4 uh, positive definite, that's what I want. <coughs> okay, now just pause for a second. What's going to happen? What's going to emerge? What do you anticipate will happen before you just start crunching through the algebra? Okay, yeah, do you? Okay, I have two inequalities right there, right? So I want both of them at the same time because I need this and this, right? So there's the first thing I know, okay? Secondly, just have a look at this guy for a second, right? Have a look. This is a quadratic in k. k is the variable, right? Is it concave up or concave down? It's concave up, right? See that? So, like, I don't know what this is going to look like yet, but I'm expecting something kind of like this. I have no idea what these values are going to be, okay? And I want the parts that are negative, right? You see that? Okay, so which part of this parabola is negative? It's the bit in the middle, right? It's this guy. That's the part I'm interested in. Now that will give me an inequality, but then I also have to satisfy this inequality, right? So then I'll look at both of these together, and I want the, what's the word for it? It starts with an I. I want the intersection between these two inequalities, because I need both to be satisfied at the same time, okay? So I'm gonna give you a few minutes, I'm gonna let you crunch through, and then after your head start, I'll show you on the board. <coughs> 